Hello everyone, I am Dr. Chinnabha Busunkavalli. I am a robotic surgical oncologist at Yashoda Hospital's High Tech City. Lot of you have many questions about uh, robotic surgery, the role of uh, robotics in cervical cancer. You have a lot of information available online, some of it may not be very relevant. So I would like to answer some of your questions which are very common pertinent to robotic surgery. So the first question I will take now, it is uh, what is a robotic surgery for cervical cancer? Robotic surgery for early cervical cancer is still feasible. So the case selection is very important. Not every patient is eligible or suitable for robotic surgery. So even after the, you know, some of the trials showing the inferior outcomes with minimally invasive surgery, let me tell you, it is not a blanket statement. It also depends on the surgeon's performance or the surgeon's technique. It is uh, very, very uh, important for you to understand that each patient is different, each person's stage and the condition uh, of the disease in the abdomen uh, determines which procedure is best for him. Second question, is robotic hysterectomy the best option for removal of the uterus? The robotic hysterectomy is nothing but removal of the uterus by means of small incisions and using a robotic system in the operating room. So what is a robot in OT? It is as simple as bringing a computer system, bringing an equipment which has got a fine movement and it's completely controlled by the surgeon himself. So the robotic hysterectomy, when you say, it is not an automatic robot performing the surgery. It is a robotic assisted surgery. So the surgeon himself will be making the movements at the console. So the same movements of the surgeon's hands will be translated into the movements of the robotic arms at the bedside in the patient. So robotic hysterectomy is nothing but removal of uterus with minimally invasive techniques, small incisions, about four of them, 0.8 centimeter sized incisions are put and then the instruments are, the robotic arms are docked to the patient and then the surgery is performed by the surgeon himself by deploying the robotic patient card and performing a painless and simple surgery and the outcomes are extremely good. So now we'll go to the next question. How is robotic surgery different from traditional surgery? Well, traditional surgery is usually an open surgery. So you have a big cut. So you need to open the abdomen. You need to cut open the thorax to enter into the area of your interest for surgery. So now robotic and traditional surgery, especially for hysterectomy, right? So it is very, very different because as I mentioned before to you, in robotic surgery, you have a small incisions. So eight millimeter size cuts, about four of them in the abdomen and then the robotic arms are docked and the surgery is performed with the help of robotic instruments by the surgeon himself. So the difference between these two, robotic is basically digital surgery, I might say. So actually the surgeon is staying away from the patient. Surgeon sits on a console, whereas patient cart is where the robot is uh, fixed to the ports in the abdomen and then the surgery is performed. So it is a minimally invasive, less painful, and of course less blood loss and uh, the difference between robotic and laparoscopic if you see laparoscopy is you look at a television and operate so it's a 2d vision whereas robotic surgery is a 3d vision it's a magnified vision so precision is the order of the day for robotic surgery so highly precise and uh, surgery scaling of the movements of the hands is done and uh, this is a surgery wherein the blood loss is least and uh, 10 times magnification is what we see in robotic surgery. So the other question that I am put up here is uh, what are the benefits of robotic surgery? So the benefits of robotic surgery, robotic surgery is nothing but a computer in the operating theater. You have brought IT into the OT. Basically, you are able to do a complex surgery through minimal invasion or smaller cuts. So, minimally invasive surgery, precise surgery, less blood loss, less pain and of course, early recovery and quick discharge and less complications after surgery. So, these are all the benefits of robotic surgery. Going to the next question, how long is the recovery after robotic hysterectomy? So many people think that you know undergoing a hysterectomy is a big surgery. 
That's what you know in Telugu people say pedda operation, right? So it's a big surgery. So when you say it's a big surgery, if you are doing robotically, it is not, it's no longer a big surgery. It is a minimally invasive surgery. Patient is usually discharged in the second day or the first day. Nowadays, we have started even doing a daycare hysterectomies. You operate in the morning, send back home the patient on the same day evening. So the recovery after robotic hysterectomy is usually, you know, one or two weeks. Within that, patient can you know, resume their normal duties and get back to their even work. So quick return to normal activity is very much possible with robotic surgery, unlike traditional surgery. So the next question, what are the risks of robotic surgery? Any surgery will have some risks, right? So robotic surgery also has some risks. Bleeding could be a risk in any surgery, even with robotics. So infection could be the risk factor uh, that you can see. Sometimes, you know, the uh, other complications of the hysterectomy like uh, bowel and uh, bladder disturbances sometimes, you know, could be the risk that is involved with robotic surgery. The patient factor, if you look at from the patient's angle, how does the patient look at the value of a robotic surgery versus laparoscopic surgery versus open surgery? I think that's where perspective of the patient is actually inversely proportional to invasiveness square. That means to say, less the invasiveness of the procedure better the outcome for the patient. So that's why the outcomes for uh, robotic is much better compared to even with laparoscopy. The next question that I'm taking up here is why do doctors prefer robotic surgery? Well, many doctors have adopted or embraced robotic surgery because today is the era of precision surgery or the personalized surgery or a digital surgery. So when you have all the advantages of a 3D vision, of a magnified vision, and you have a, you know, motion control, you have a fine range of motion of your instruments, right? When you have a, the outcomes are superior compared with traditional or laparoscopy, why not a doctor embrace this technology and this uh, modality of surgery? So doctors prefer robotic surgery, not just because it is comfortable to sit on a chair and operate, but most importantly, it is because the outcomes to the patient are much, much better and superior and the patient goes home back happy very soon and very quick return to normal activities. That's the reason most of the patients and the doctors today are moving towards robotic surgery. Thank you for watching this video. Look forward to hear your feedback even as we continue to educate, even as we continue to strive hard to make a difference in the lives of people. Thank you so much for watching this video.